is a drop cargo pod of essential resources in our current sector. If you can get them bass, it would mean extra credits. Nice. Right, do I have to use the scan thing? Or I think I have to use wolf, right? In this one. So let's go. Yeah, I have to get wolf here. Alright, wolf gets to the position. Waiting for alignment. Let's get it in. There we go. Thank you, wolf. Now we need to get back to base. Do we fight? I think we fight. Get some extra XP, even though we don't have focus fire or anything like that. Yuki, inspirational speech, brother. Let's get everybody's uh, stuff up to snuff. There we go. Oh, look at those rail guns. I mean, you're hitting some of them at least. There we go. Look at the range, the fire rate. Oh, this is beautiful. The missiles going as well. Oh, there's two pods coming to attack us here. And Otto, get the focus fire on. Let's get the radiation in. So you do a little bit more damage. Right, we're getting hits in the booty here, but it should be okay. If we take out those pods before they land, we should be good. And Otto's on the case. Let's get Bilbo on the focus fire. So he can hit stuff. Nice. Oh, this is easy. The ship is fine. There we go. Oh, now we're missing everything. You're shooting between the motto. Oh god, the shield's up. Oh dear. Right, evasive piloting. Wolf, I need you on the wing. There we go. Right, come on, Wolf. Get it fixed. We need our engine back. We don't want to be sitting ducks here. Don't worry about the radiation. Radiation is fine. You'll survive. Right, there we go. There's only three fighters, so we don't have to worry about it too much. Wolf the engineer, back in business. Then we'll give him a focus fire, just to say hello. Hands as well. Since uh, Hans should be firing at these guys, but he's deciding not to. A true champion of the people. Uh, there we go. Woo! Easy peasy. Took a little bit of damage there, but nothing serious. Back we go. So that's 6,000 credits, so we should be really able to... Upgrade this ship. We got a decent amount of research too. We should get some more credits from the supply as well. Alright, let's see. So Valid's dead. That's 6,000. 7,500 credits. Oh my god. That's crazy. A battle helmet? Particle beam fires a beam of ionized atoms which can penetrate shields and armor, causing widespread damage throughout the targets. Requires. Oh my god. Maybe we replace a railgun. But first of all, we're getting the battle helmets, definitely. Uh, so there we go. Beautiful. Looking good, looking good. But Wolf, unfortunately, brother, you get the face mask. So. <laughs> Don't worry about it. It's okay. Um, should we give Bilbo one of these as well? Yeah, I think so, just in case. He has to repair some stuff. Training's good. Let's have a look at the spacecraft. So, what is this thing? Oh. Oh, it doesn't do as much damage, though. But it does both damages. It's really cheap. No, I'm not doing it. I don't believe in it. I'd rather get these crazy shields. So, crazy shields. Uh, really good recharge rate. Is everything else up to snuff? Not getting that. Oh, we could get the medical bay 3. What about engines, though? So these, they survive for longer, but they have less agility. 
I mean, that's probably good for us, but we need to do the, the plating. There we go. So we're a little bit stronger now. It's 625 each for these. So we lose evasion, but they die less. And we have just upgraded our things. Uh, let's get a better medical bay. I don't really want to get new weapons. I'm pretty happy with the ones we have. Uh, the fact this does damage to both, I still don't think it's fair to get because of the amount of damage the railguns do. Alright, let's investigate some phasmid activity. We should be on the... Oh, we got a new one. Oh my god, what is that? Kishaya Poros pilots an advanced phasmid beam fighter craft with stronger shields and fighters that a standard beam fighter. Kishaya Poros appears to be less communicative and more to the point than other phasmid champions. Okay, so they don't talk. And then we haven't seen Vorb Kib yet. We've only run into Apricot. And Apricot is supposed to be stronger than Kib, so it should be easy to deal with. Let's have a look at the Phasmid activity. We can't kick him out of the hard school? Oh. <laughs> right, shields and weapons. Oh, look at the hats, man. <laughs> oh, how do I do it? Yeah, look at that. Look at the hats. Absolutely huge. Monstrosities of hats. Should make us pretty strong, though. Hey, Hakeem, how you doing, man? I <laughs> know this is not the new War Thunder event. Alright, so we should run into a lot of people here, but I'm pretty proud of what we've been able to accomplish so far, so I think we should be okay with dealing with them. Now my aim will be shittier. Oh, not Sol Corona. Oh god, he's here. Where is he? Where is he? Let's get, all right, let's get these guys marked. I can't see him. Where is he? Abby? There he is. Right, Otto, focus fire. Overdrive. Let's go. Oh god, he does quite a lot of damage. He's hitting Otto. Oh no, I'm hitting Otto. Never mind. Don't worry about it. God, Poros is getting fucked. Get oh, look at this. This is just Otto. Screw him up. Annihilate. Desecrate. Look at that damn. Oh. Oh wait, our shields are coming back up. Yeah, this guy has no chance. He's screwed. Whoa, the beam. F the beam riders are annoying though. Oh come on, Hans. This is you, baby. Hit him up. God, this guy has absolutely no chance. Right, go on the attack. Come on, he's so close to dying. Go on, Bilbo, focus fire. You ain't running away from me. Hans is gonna get you. Oh. Maybe not. Oh, we've got big boys. Oh, he just, he literally did one pass then ran away. What's that shit, man? He didn't even do any damage. God damn, dude. Katasha Poros, I am... I am... You should feel disgraced for that. That was awful. Wait, what do you mean high risk of fire? Why is Bilbo at high risk of fire? That's not good. What about the other? Oh, it's like the central things. Okay, so you get radiation on the energy ones, and then you get high risk of fire on the other ones. Oh, why is everything gold? Oh, it's because of the sun. He did one pass and then left. Like, what is he gonna do? Right. So we can do a performance analysis here, I think. It's normally a lot of people uh, die around here. 
But let's see. Yuki, there's a large rock there, brother. It would be really nice if you don't run directly into it. Right, there we go. Oh! Well, well done. He navigated. Well done. But they're not even getting close. Oh! It's an annihilation. It truly is. He's rare. Oh my god! Look at, look at Otto go. They're not even getting a shot off. Otto is just a man on a mission right now. Look at this. There's only one of them left. Might as well just charge, man. God damn, son. <laughs> How ridiculous. I think Otto killed everyone there. Oh god, Mo wait, what is this place? Is this where we're supposed to be investigating? We're investigating in an asteroid belt. Well, this is a worry. Is everything okay inside? Oh yeah, it is. So, Abigail, we don't have fighter support backup. Let's use inspirational speech. Make sure that things quicken a little bit faster. Three enemies coming in. There's some enemies back there, I think. Yep, there we go. Saw them on the map first. Come on, Otto. Focus fire, let's go. Oh my god, it's an annihilation. These aliens don't stand a chance. Now with the railgun upgrades. Oh, oh! It's magnificent. They're gonna have to throw in something much bigger against our gunners now. We're just absolutely desecrating them. Look at this! They're not even getting close. They're just not hitting us. Oh, don't watch out. We've got somebody trying to board. Yeah, well done. Jesus Christ. Right, well, that was the mission. How crazy. Like, we hardly got hit through that whole mission. And this is supposed to be like a... Like a medium, a medium one. Right, let's get Abby to scan this. Can get some more research. Oh, maybe we can board enemy ships. That would be cool. Alright, there you go. Let's get the scan on. Get some cool information. Hopefully Abby can get that. We don't get attacked. Nice. Right, back to base. Alright, we got one of the spaceship of the Star Trek looking things. As you can see, the. <laughs> the railgun cometh. And the railgun taketh. That's quite a big mass of enemies over there, actually. Oh, it's not even getting close. Let's go on the attack. We'll go at them. Like, I'm confident in everybody. So, performance analysis. Get some extra XP. Right, we'll be able to take these out, hopefully. Yep, there you go. 500 XP for that one. This guy's in front of us for some reason. Oh, we got the beam riders. Got to be careful of them. Whoop. Let's just go slightly defensive now. Let's make sure we're okay. Nice. I think the I'm I'm waiting for them to have an enemy which can puncture the shields. Okay. So those ones puncture the shields quite badly. 
But we're dealing with them quickly enough, so it should be okay. Alright, evasive piloting. They broke something. Oh, God. Right. Wolf. Get on that. See, once again, our engine is broken. So, when our shields get hit, our engines basically just go kaput at the same time. Which is not good for business. So, we may have to do the stronger engines, even though we lose a bit of evasiveness. I think that's probably the way to go, right? By being honest. Alright, let's get inside. Last one, I think. Nice. Yeah, I think that's what we'll do. We'll upgrade the engines. We'll get the big ones. Because we can always just hit evasive piloting whenever we feel like it, right? So... Evasion doesn't really matter that much. Um, because we can just hit it to 100%. Which is just kind of ridiculous. You shouldn't be able to do that. It should be like, I don't know, 70 or something. The only, ma the only enemy I care about is Poros. Where is my Poros, man? Everyone else just gets torn up by the guns when they hit. Uh, one down. Hey, look at this! Dead already. Be interesting to see what the level 12 thing is. Could have bought. <laughs> Probably a bad idea. Oh, oh, is he gonna get here? Is he gonna get on? Oh, Yuki's in bu No, Bilbo's in business. There we go. We can use your new hat and your new suit. See what you, you can do. Look at him go. He's like a tank. <laughs> Kaboom. Kaboom. Oh, he missed. Oh, nice. Nice. Keep it up. Keep it up. Oh, there's people I haven't tracked, I don't think. Ah, there we go. Oh, Bilbo, fix, fix, fix. So it doesn't set fire. Nice. Right, get back to your position. They're just not doing damage. We have every base covered. At least for now. Right, let's go for a charge. We might as well. Like, It's not like they're going to pierce the shields. It's going to get absolutely twatted. Alright, last one. Nice. I'm back home. Well done, everybody. Beautiful. Uh, well, we didn't get Poros, but we got everything else. Maybe we'll get a bit more research, see what we can get out of that. Will boarding be an option? I don't see why not, Hakeem. 750. I might get us something. Oh, so close to level 9. But we didn't get anything new. So that means we're going for the engine upgrade. We don't need to increase crew gear or anything like that. Um, engines. Yeah, let's go for the standard ones now. Not going to use too much of our credits, and I think it's the way to go. Have all of our systems improved apart from this one? I'm just waiting for the seven, and then we'll improve it. These give us like nothing in terms of money or anything. This one gives us three thousand. We might as well just do this one again. The reason why I'm doing this one is because I have a hunch. I think these ones are where the uh, the really good guys turn up. So if I can if I can find a way to engage them and kill them, I think I should.
Because if I can kill, if I can kill, like, let's call them the heroes or the bounties before I do the main mission, then I should be good. Ooh, the new engines look nice, though. Just a singular beam. Not too bad. Of course it's an asteroid belt straight away. Oh. Yuki, Yuki, let's be Yuki. Alright, good dodge, good dodge. <laughs> My guys are just straight shooting into, uh, shooting into rocks right now. Right, those are your hands. Take them out. I don't even have to use any abilities, like... The only one I sometimes have to use is the focus fire and the cold fire support. When the guys miss. Like, even here, right? Like, look how much damage these guys do to the shields. But they hardly do anything. Like, I have time where I can just chill, you know? Like, I'd, I remember, like, during the Lancaster one, I had to use quite a lot of abilities and stuff like that. Or in this one, it's literally just turn up and uh, annihilate right now. I don't know whether I'm way higher, like, research than I should be, but it's not like I've been doing, like, more missions than I feel like I should. Said the performance analysis. <laughs> and yeah, like the the rail guns and the the missiles just are a great combo. They just annihilate everything, it seems. So we the mouse now. When we will get the power? When we will get power crept? Oh, I'm just waiting. I'm worried about that mothership, but I think we might do that one. Because right now, like, as you see, I'm just really not doing anything. The game's playing itself. But the only thing I'm doing is, uh, is, like, tagging enemies. No, oh, we took a bit of damage there, but everything's fine. Uh, shield should be back up pretty soon. There we go. Hopefully the missiles will hit at some point, but it looks like it's up to Hans to be able to hit the enemy. There we go. Well done, Hans. Look, we're just we're just annihilating the enemies. This should get us our level nine, though. I don't know if that actually gives us anything. Just get Wolf to fix that real quick. Wasn't it super hard to get improvements in the B17 DLC for Bomber Crew? Yeah, it was, it, it was really, really r rough. I thought they got the balance right. No, other thing. I think they got the balance right when it came to the Lancaster one. The B-17 one was just ridiculous. Um, like, you got like 1,500 for each mission, and all of the, all of the upgrades were just crazy. This one so far, like, we're just coasting. Alright, let's get out the scan beam. We can get some extra research. Maybe that means we'll get some extra stuff. I think what we'll do is we'll just go back to base. Like Fast jump. Ha ha. Bye. <laughs> and mission completo.
Took a little bit of damage there, but that's because I basically forced the issue, so... Yeah. It's gonna get Bomber Crew a shot this week. You should do. It's a really fun game. I enjoyed it a lot. Yep, there we go. Another successful mission with the men and the women. Oh, cruiser su cruiser support? We could get a cruiser in this bitch? Oh, look at that! We could get a cruiser. Causing a friendly cruiser. Oh, that's so cool, man. Heavy armor two. Oh my god. Kinetic firearm. It delivers 20 millimeter caseless rounds. Ah, uh, the rail. No, I don't like these uh, double ones. Unless it's a rail gun and a summit. Right, so do we get even more armor for the boys? Let's see. Oh, we do. Equipped to all. Apart from Wolf. You get a nice radiation suit. Um, does anybody get any better gloves? No. I'm just trying to make them tanky so they don't die, basically. A hundred and five? Wait, what's the missile launcher do? Oh, what do we do? It's only 400 to upgrade. Why is it so cheap? Are these just seen as better? What do you think? Do you think we go auto cannons? Like, we had the auto cannons before, and we had a few issues with them, like not hitting anything. But this is a big one. And the missiles are pretty fun. They seem to work pretty well. Oh, there we go. Plasma and railgun. Why would you want that? Why? What situation would you ever use the plasma cannon? Just seems weird to me, man. Right, these do more damage, so we'll go for them. We'll see how it see see what happens with it. The cover the comms probe. Yeah, let's do this one. It's high risk, but we should be fine. But they go brr. What is it? Oh, I can bring in both. Oh my god. Right. Uh, there we go. Right, Wolf. And... So now we got some big old miniguns to deal with. They're blue. Now let's recover the comms probe. Let's see what we can get here. Our evasion is only 11% now, so it has gone down. But we're tankies all folks, so should be alright. Let's see how the burr goes. Should be good. We're definitely going the safest routes. Alright, let's see. <laughs> oh my Jesus Christ. Okay. Okay. <laughs> what is that? Oh no. Oh, it's a destruction. Woo! You can tell who's the better gunner, by the way. Oh, this graceful. All right, there we go. Let's go on the defense. <laughs> Just firing. Fire in the miniguns. Alright, can we hit them now? I'm not having a situ- There we go. I'm not having a situation where we had before, where we just miss every shot. Oh, Wolf is- Oh, God. Wolf is having a little bit of an issue hitting things. But it should be okay. Beautiful. Well done, everybody. Somehow the reactor got hit a bit. Let's just fix that. Engage. I think they actually did take our shields down a little bit there. But not too much. 
Yeah, everybody is super tanky now. Let's go to the objective. Still don't have to use any of our stuff yet. Wolf is definitely not as good as a gunner or Bilbo, but it still should be fine. Uh, you can see. Oh, he just dosed him with a full clip. Yeah, these things are doing a little bit more damage now. Oh, he took off some plates, actually. That's not good. Alright, so we lost some plates from where Wolf is. Our engine is also smoking. Oh, no, that's the gun. Never mind. Oh. Wreck him. Wolf is just missing. Could you hit, brother? Would be nice. Let's right, see how slow they are. Oh. Ooh. Right, there we go. Let's use a little bit of the medical stuff. Let's just see if we can take these guys out while we're here. There's some more coming in. There we go. So the range, we've got sorted. The, ra the railguns deal with range. And the miniguns deal with the close stuff. So as long as we don't lose any power to the engine, we should be completely fine here. Now the aliens want the Burt gun to get nerfed. I mean, I would. Have you seen this? It's ridiculous. 